Hey folks, welcome to game 967,000 in the Playdeck Multiverse. Only 33,000 to go before they need to switch to Hexadecimal or something. So I'm USSR. I've got Europe scoring and Middle Eastern scoring. That's an unending delight. Uh, socialist governments is the most attractive headline. If he defects it, I can drop Europe scoring for nothing and then start to set about the Middle East. So let's open 441. At least I'm ops rich. Um, I can hopefully ditch Truman from the lot. It's a downside having two scoring cards, but that is life. Uh, East European and Socialist Governments. Yeah, cool. So let's see how he opens. Will he open Marshall Plan, for example, in which case I can then do Socialist Governments and get the coup off. He does not. But he is opening 4-3-3, so he's either got defectors or he's mad. So let's open Socialist Governments. We'll try and score Europe for domination and Middle East for neutral. That's my goal for the turn. He's containing. So we'll open with a good old big fat NATO coup on Italy. So he should play into France next. I may be greedy and try and hold Purge to turn two. Thinking being, I'm not going to win an Ops War anyway. But we'll see how he reacts. Okay, so he pumps France a bit. We will shore up Iraq. Like I said, we don't want to get into a heavy ops war. But Europe for domination, a cheap Truman Doctrine. We could try and sneak domination in the Middle East as well, but he'll get wise by playing to Saudi and Syria. He may use three ops here, taking France and Canada. Which will also leave me a few options. No, he, De Gaulle, he'll just correct De Gaulle. Cool. So we drop Europe scoring for Dom. Um, if he doesn't play into Pakistan, another option is to play into Afghanistan and try and get a rear line off on Iran. If I play into Afghanistan, he doesn't develop. Using Purge to go... Sorry, using Eastern European unrest to go to Afghanistan. And then use all four ops on Red Scare Purge, trying to get Israel cleared out at zero. Sorry, at minus one. After trying to get Iran cleared out. Isn't too unattractive. 
Although, of course, you could get a coup off on Afghanistan as much as anything. Using captured Nazi for the ops. What do we think? We can try and get into a domination war. But he'll get the last counter coup. Let's drop... Do we, do we try and space Eastern European unrest? Let's be greedy. I think even under containment, captured Nazis is too appealing to space there. It's a, a 2vp swing on the space track. So we'll finish the turn, dropping Middle East scoring hopefully for nothing, although of course now he could try and take a high kill on Iraq, which leaves me hamstrung. I don't know if I did that the right way around. Tempo is always a problem in this game. Okay, so he gets his tempo back, spacing decor, and he's not as lucky. We're going to drop Middle East for nothing, and we're going to try and ditch Truman for nothing as well, or for almost nothing. Good to see decor go back into the deck for the reshuffle. It's a, an odd decision, because if he's got blockade, he should have blockaded it away. Unless he's holding D-Star as well, I suppose. So we're hoping to see defectors so we can use... Okay. Yeah, so he's going for a big domination. Alright, so we instead are going to get a big coup off on Pakistan with Red Scare. We get lucky, but we leave ourselves wide open for Indo-Pakistani war. That's not necessarily great, but it'll do. Oh, super. So instead I get another VP. So that's a nice start. All three scoring cards gone. Indo-Pakistani war is a major problem. Right, um, I've got D-Style, that's a delight. Um, I do not want to event Truman Doctrine while France is open. Which means, I guess, Arab-Israeli war a third is the best headline. Or defectors, indeed. Uh, let me just plug all that in. UN Intervention, Comic Con, Warsaw, Arab Israeli. And my eighth is good old D style. He may five year plan me, of course. <laughs> Let's get rid of defectors, save the VP, and he is going for the big old Indo-Pakistani war. At least gives me the option of cooing. He fails, unlucky, along with everything else.
Nice big coup of Panama. It's a target. If he takes France, I can event Truman Doctrine at that point. But obviously, prime objective will be D-style if he counter coups. Thailand, Angola, Venezuela, Argentina. I'll just have to accept Nigeria. He's not taking the last coup. Okay, so we can D-style now instead. <laughs> Let's use the right card. At DEFCON 3... Plan changes somewhat. We'll pop two in Thailand, one in Angola, not Angola, sorry, one in South Africa, and one in Chile. I guess if I'm going to be Truman doctrined, I want to get out of Austria and Finland. So he may choose to flip Pakistan here, in which case with Indo-Pakistani war gone I can push into Asia. looks to tap so I'm gonna let him have access for now and ditch independent reds before Romanian abdication comes out because obviously I'm now racking up a decent country count in Europe He does move to India. So we're going to take Afghanistan to protect against Indo-Pakistani war and start to rack up country count just to lay some more pressure at his door. With five-year plan gone, I don't have to worry quite so much about the duck and cover CIA combo. DEFCON's also at three. Which, of course, is useful if he doesn't drop DEFCON. Okay, cool. That's handy for me. He pushes into Burma. I'm a little frustrated about the... Uh, I'm, I'm going to pressure France. Uh, am I? Am I? I might as well. No. I'm going to overprotect Pakistan and Thailand. Just so he doesn't AR6 threaten me. I may accept Truman Doctrine. It's really, I don't know, it's not very good advantage trading... One op for two ops, effectively. And de Gaulle and Suez both gone, but I'm not in disastrous shape in Europe. So he gives me Vietnam. Uh... We'll go up France because I want to hold US intervention against Marshall Plan and NORAD.
we're going to overprotect North Korea as well. Be risk of us. No, actually. We're going to put one into Israel. Because if he doesn't event NASA, I want to get access there. Korean War's still quite juicy. Okay, he's got CIA. Things are getting better and better. 12 going into no scoring cards. Indo-Pakistani wars, not terrible. Duck and cover's not terrible. A duck and cover realign on Iran is quite nice. I've got Korean War as well. And I've got defectors. Let's work out what he's got because we might want to do something with purge potentially because he's holding blockade. So he's got Marshall Plan and Formosa Resolution. Fidel, Blockade and NASA. And I picked up Defectors, Purge and Indo-Pak War. So knowing he holds Marshall, he may headline it to get into Greece and Turkey, which then begs the question if he draws one in the re-discard. What do we think? Um, we'll be all right. Look, we're going to start with Korean War because if he headlines Asia scoring, if he got it in the reshuffle and South Korea flips, it's not going to be a better opportunity. So we're going to start with that. He gives me NASA. I flip South Korea. That's a result. So now I want to duck and cover coup Iran. Do I want to duck and cover coup Iran? If I duck and cover coup Lebanon, I get domination. No, I don't, because I've invented it. I'm an idiot. No, I need to duck and cover coup Iran. And it will ply me. So, I can push for, if I take Israel, I can push for control of the Middle East. I obviously want to push into Angola before him. I've got Indo-Pakistani war, so he can't get Milops. So that's 14 at the end of the turn. So we're going to start with you, an intervention of NORAD. Uh, no, no, no. We'll take, we'll take domination. I don't mind giving him Israel. I'm not going to be greedy. If he's holding a scoring card, he's in serious trouble. Ends the game. Close to ending the game. Close to ending the game. If he events Marshall Plan, which he's not done, okay. Nice. Massive overprotect. We need to push into Libya before Sadat. Did 
did draw NATO, so purging him wasn't so hot. I'm not going to be greedy and take the one in three. The only reason to do that was to, if I won in three flip India and I dodge US Japan, I could use the China card for control of Asia, but that's just silly. We reckon. He may flip um, here as well. No, okay, so he pushes into Central America. What are we doing? I'm gonna put two in Greece to protect against brush war on Italy. Even though that hands over a VP. Need to put two into Chile and two into South America to protect against Voice of America. But yeah, I'm in decent shape going into mid war, of course. What does he blockade away? Socialist governments. So that leaves him Fidel, which he may space. Let's do that, because now he may choose to event Fidel to make sure he has Middle Eastern presence. No, he spaces it. It's probably wise given the situation. So 12 points going into mid-war. Not a bad. Southeast Asia scoring is even. That doesn't do a lot for me. Middle Eastern scoring ends the game. So we'll cork my rim. Doesn't matter. Middle East scoring ends the game. I'm very sorry that that was not more thrilling. So thank you for watching and let me know if you thought I raced through any poor decisions. Ciao for now.